This video will describe how to define limit sets using the Viewpoint Express software for the 360 DSP. Uh, a limit set is simply a set of values that define my pass fail, upper limit, lower limit. Let's go into the limit sets link. And you can see I have some defined here. I'm going to create a new limit set. And one thing you want to consider, depending upon what you're measuring, um, I might want to name this based on where these limits apply. In other words, I would have a different set of pass-fail limits at the set-top box than I would at the tap. So let's say I name this tap. In the list down here, I just enable and define the limits that I, I want to set. These are going to determine my pass-fail results on the 360. So let's say at the tap, you know, I don't want to see any less than 10, any more than, than 20. These are just arbitrary numbers. Your company will have these defined for you. Um, any one of these these limits you can define. Obviously, if I don't have any 16 QAM channels on in my channel plan, I don't have to define a limit set. Uh, if I do have some 256 QAM, I probably want to set a minimum MER. If I want to measure pre and post bit errors, um, carry to noise, things like that. So any anything that I want to get a pass fail on I have to define that limit. Let me do a couple of these here. You can see it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Digital level, this is my min max on my on my digitals. MER is easy. Most of these are self-explanatory. I'm going to save this one and then I'll define another one real quick. So let's say this is this is what I want to measure at the tap and, and verify that I've got good test results. I'll save that and if I go to my limit sets link you can see I now have a a tap limit. Let me show you another one that's called ingress. I've already saved. I create it the same way in this case I'm going to edit it and you can see the only thing I have checked is my ingress level. This is a limit set for the the ingress test if you will or some call it the drop test, uh, drop cert. It's where I would connect my meter to the to the drop rather than connecting it to the plant I'll go to the tap, disconnect the drop, connect the drop to my meter and look in towards the house. So this is my upper limit on signal level. I don't want to see the cable should be dead. I don't want to see any signal higher than minus 20 dB. Typically this is around minus 30 um, whatever your company requires. Save any changes I've made. Go back to limit sets. The reason this is important is because everything is tied together in Viewpoint Express and in the 360. If I'm doing an auto test, that's tied to the channel plan, tied to the limit sets, tied to the test locations. It's all kind of kind of tied together. In future videos, we'll go over each one of these these settings. 